Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Midjourney to combine reference image to create an AI art. So this is the image. This is the actual image I use for this video. This is the actual image I use in this video. So I use this image and then I actually created something like this. But first of all, we need to know what Midjourney is. So let's go here. And this is actually what it is. So Midjourney is an independent research lab exploring new. So Midjourney is an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thoughts and expanding the imaginative powers of the human species. So what is it and how can we use it? We're going to go to the platform and then let's see how amazing this is. Like I said, this is just a normal image that I used and I managed to just imagine creating something like this so you don't have to go through any stress this amazing boat is going to do that for you ai is basically the future so i use this image for that but in this tutorial we are actually going to use this image to create something let's just try to make something just amazing now what are we going to do first of all you go to that platform i'm going to leave the link at the description majorney.com so you first need to sign up or register and you have to join using what the beta version i have already done that over here but for the sake of this let's just click on join once again we're going to wait for this to load in your case you need to register you have to go through some process to actually register and create your server and you can see over 8 million plus members are on this platform and then currently we have over 700 plus online so it is an amazing platform people are using to create a great stuff so i'm going to accept invite and then go to this platform so it's going to take some time to load and i'm going to wait so this is actually downloading and in your case when you come here you first need to create you first need to create a server i have already done that and i'm going to do another video purposely for beginners but i'm going to show you the power of majoring first and then we'll create a video for beginners so subscribe for that amazing video so on this platform before i can start using the chat section i first need to go ahead and click on the majoring and i'll go to under we have the new info section when you go there we have the newbie section that you have to click on so this is the newbies for four so you can see a lot of people are creating amazing stuff over here using this amazing system okay so we are going to do our own people create some amazing art and we are also going to do our own in this video tutorial so how do you create something realistic like this you have different different versions ui different user interface generated for you so now we're going to create our own so first we need to bring our image so go ahead and click on the chat session click on the plus icon and then upload a file so we're going to upload our image so this is the image you want to use select that open and then you have to hit enter on your keyboard to actually load this image there's a lot of people using this platform so it's actually going to be loaded so you have to stay alert and then be monitoring whatever you're uploading so it doesn't get lost so my image is actually uploading and i just have to be monitoring that please like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification for more of my video tutorial because i have a good have a lot of stuff for you this year a lot of amazing stuff and you can't afford to miss that so i'm going to wait for this to actually load it's going to take some time depending on the speed of your internet and how fast your computer it all factor into that so loading so we have our image here i can see the image right here let's select it right click and then copy the image address now once we are done with that we come down to the chat section and then just go to forward slash imagine and hit the tab key on our keyboard mm -hmm. so hit the tab key and it's going to bring the prompt now the address we copied we're going to paste it here and then let's add some few information the first information we're going to add is called let's just use some keywords so realistic and then we'll give some space and also let's say sunglasses we want a person to put on sunglasses so we can just say sunglasses and command let's say dash dash version 4 so we are using the version 4 and it hits enter this is going to take some time for this to load so this is our chart we just have to wait and then this is going to generate that for us it's probably going to take some time so depending on the words you want to combine the keywords you want to use this AI will fall on that to generate 
your realistic art for you using the AI. So it's going to do that. I'm totally waiting for this to load. So this is what we're having over here. Skip generating that. It's still generating. Okay, so we have this finally generated this way. Mm. We are definitely going to have different versions of this. So you can see this is my username and it has actually generated amazing stuff for me. You can see how this has been displayed now. Remember, we are using this image to do that. This is the image I'm using. This is the image and it's trying to create something based on our keywords. So this is what we have at the moment. You can try. We have different UI here. You can just try and then reload this and see how the virus one is going to look like. So this is amazing. You can do so many realistic ads using this amazing platform. So this is what we have at the moment. Can even go ahead and then just reload this. We can also try this on a different image and then let's try to compare and then see. Maybe we want the same image, but we want it to look like an old person. We can try this and also see. So let's say we want to use the same image. So this is what we have. We try to make this AI add some sunglasses to this human being. And we want to also recreate this, but this time around is going to look like an old person. So now let's go down here our chat section. Let's still use imagine. So imagine. Let's use the tab and get a prompt. Let's paste the link which we've already done already. So we can just say old man. And a command, we can say angry. We want the person to be angry. And comma, let's say dash dash v dash four. That's the majority version four. And then let's hit enter. Let's see how this is going to look like this new one and it's been generated it's still generating some of my images still i'm still looking for a new version generating an old person okay it keeps generating more of more samples for me using the same method so the sunglasses is giving me because i click on the other version it's actually generating them for me so this is the other one. I have another one here. I have the other one, the initial one combined. So you will get amazing stuff. Now I want, okay, you have the separated one as well. Now we want the one that we said we want it to look like an old person. I think we should get it down here. So we just have to screw a bit. I still have more of my earlier one. So let's go down and then look for the old version where we wanted to generate an older person for us so this is another one the sunglasses which we generated i'm still looking for the other one so this is the old person we want to generate so you can see old man angry and then we have that also generated for us so majority has gone ahead to actually generate an older version of the same image we had we can also play with the various ui and it's going to do that for us separately so this is how to use Majonin, but there's going to be a comprehensive video on that and you can create realistic images using this same platform. Like, subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification and also comment at the, so comment at the comment section. Let's get interactive. Bye-bye.